Hello, and uh, welcome back once again to Infinite Jeff, the project where I just read the book, Infinite Jeff, to you. One page at a time. Sorry, let me try to do something about that. Scraping. One uh, day at a time. You know, look at that show. But, uh, uh, I'm in the woods. I just did a an infinite Jeff. I want to do five of them today because I'm a little behind. Okay, so I did one infinite Jeff, which you would have heard the previous day, and then I did five Jeffinigan's wakes. And uh, which is just nonsense. So currently. Making my way from the bridge that Tom built in the forest. Tom is my roommate who owns the house that I live in. Um, <clears throat> I'm walking to the tiny house, which is a tiny house on the property in the woods that uh, he rents out to Airbnb people. I don't see the appeal, but there's certainly Decent number of people that pay a good amount of money to stay there, so, you know, get it. But I don't get it. But. So we're going to read one from the deck of the tiny house. And hopefully the bugs aren't quite as bad as they were in the forest. But. All right, so this is page 172. Now this first part is all, and I'm going to read it kind of loudly and forcefully, it's all the heading of this new section. Tennis and the Feral Prodigy, Feral Prodigy, narrated by Hal Incandenza, an 11 and a half minute digital entertainment cartridge directed, recorded, edited, and according to the entry form, written by Mario Incandenza, in receipt of a new New England Regional Honorable Mention in Interlace Tele Entertainment's annual New Eyes, New Voices, Young Filmmakers Contest, April in the year of the Yushits, Yushitu, Yushitu. God damn it, Wallace, that's not funny. 2007 Mimetic Resolution Cartridge View Motherboard, easy to install, upgrade for Infernation, mm, Infernatron slash Interlace TP Systems for Home, Office, or Marble. Almost exactly three years after Dr. James Owen condensed a pest from this life. All right, that was the heading. Here we go. Here is how to put on a big red tent of a shirt that has ETA across the chest in gray. Please ease carefully into your supporter and adjust the elastic straps so the straps do not bite into your butt and make the bulged ridges, bulged ridges in your butt that everyone can see once you've sweated through your shorts. Here is how to wrap your torn ankle so tightly in its flesh tone ace bandage your left leg feels like a log. Here is how to win later. This is a yellow iron mesh ball hopper full of dirty green dead old balls. Take them to the east courts while the dawn is still chalky and no one's around except the morning doves that infest the pines at sunrise and the air is so sopped you can see your summer, summer breath. It serves to no one. Make a mess of balls along the base of the opposite fence as the sun hauls itself up over the harbor and a thin sweat breaks and the serves start to boom. Stop thinking and let it flow and go boom, boom. The shiver of the ball against the opposite fence. Hit about a thousand serves to no one while himself sits and advises with his flask. Older men's legs are white and hairless from decades in pants. Here is the set of keys a stride's length before you in the court as you serve dead balls to no one. After each serve, you must almost fall forward into the court and in one smooth motion bend and scoop up the keys with your left hand. This is how to train yourself to follow through into the court after the serve. You, still, years after the man's death, 
cannot keep your keys anywhere but on the floor. This is how to hold the stick. And that was page 172 of Infinite Jest. Yeah, that's all she wrote. Murder she wrote. But anyway, good night.